Yo, what's up boys? So I decided to ask the squad on SG, how would you change perks to make them more fun? Balance isn't really important here, the sole point was to just see what people would change. And these are the responses I got. So the first reply is, I would make borrow time protect both survivors when unhooked like it used to. And holy crap, that would be insane. So if you don't know how the old borrow time worked, basically you could only use it once per match, but when you unhook someone, both you and the other survivor that's getting unhooked got borrowed time. Now that's insane and honestly broken, but also the borrowed time state used to be much weaker. Back then it wasn't considered the mending state, it was its own thing. And basically in the older versions, you need to have a way to heal to be able to actually get out of the mending state. So you needed to use a med kit, you needed to have self care, you needed to have someone else healing you, otherwise you would just go down when the time went out. Also the time just always ticked down. So like let's say you're in a chase, the timer would still go down. If you were in the terror radius, it'd still go down. If you're running, it would still go down. And even then it was still kind of insane. But now that the borrowed time state is now considered the mending state, and the mending state doesn't go down when you're sprinting, this would make the perk so broken and so fun. You could literally just hook bomb a camping Leatherface who's revving his chainsaw up and down, and you would most likely both of you guys would end up getting out, and that's so stupid. <laughs> People say that hook bombing exists now, it, it doesn't, compared to how insane hook bombing would be if this was a thing. You can already kind of pseudo do this, like if you get pulled off a hook with borrow time and the person pulling you off goes down and gets put on the hook and then you pull them off, but like it's still way less set up and only one person needs borrow time to do it. It would be so broken, but man, that'd be hilarious. Basically say goodbye to camping forever. It literally wouldn't be possible anymore. Very fun change. I like it. Let's never do it. So next change would be a uh, red herring very broken. It lets killer know you in location, but there's no helpless helpness to it. Oh god. I want it better balanced to use. Red herring should let you fish for items from chest faster, or not let stabber know you. The Night Stalker. So this is a personal message to the board. Uh, I didn't post my last three videos there. So the next idea will be mine. And the reason being, because this is my video, I have the control. But in all seriousness, I, I post on 4chan too, so it's like, technically, you know, this is fair. I feel like I get a say in this. But yeah, basically my idea would be changing Balance Landing to be a lot more fun. Basically, the way old Balance Landing used to work is you would have the speed boost, but then afterwards you would always have stagger reduction, and that was just so much fun. Because there were so many loops in the game that normally you couldn't loop, but you could with that stagger reduction. But now, since the stagger reduction is removed, you pretty much use balance landing to make distance, and it's not nearly as fun anymore. In fact, it's really unfun, and I guarantee you the amount of people that run this perk now is basically zero. So what I would do, personally, to make it more fun, is I would remove the speed boost, I would remove the silent falling, I would make it to where you always have stagger reduction from balance landing, and then I would make it to where you're always exhausted. This keeps the perk from being like too OP, right? So it's not like you can run this with dead hard, dead hard to a pallet and then get balance landing or sprint burst and then you sprint burst to a safe area and then get the stagger reduction. This makes it to where if you want stagger reduction, you do not get a speed boost outside of getting hit or adrenaline at the end of the game. And honestly, not only would it be fun for me, or people playing Survivor, it would also be fun for me when I'm playing Killer, because less people would be running Sprint Burst and Dead Hard. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm so sick and tired of going against those perks. So like, mixing in a perk like this, that encourages you to like, loop things in an interesting way, and doesn't mean, hey, I just get free Sprint Burst away, it 
it'd be fantastic. And it would be so much fun. But anyways, enough about me. No one cares about me. So the next idea is, I would rework Gearhead to be renamed Machine Head for the musical reference. I don't care how the perk works. Absolutely patrician taste. So the next idea is Dying Light now has an ambient effect of doling light sources in the game. Dude, I love effects that kind of just change the general ambience of the game. Just either making it more spooky or, you know, making the map look slightly different. I love stuff like that. So this new Dying Light change just sounds amazing for that alone. This would be amazing, amazing for stealth killers too because the harder it is to see stealth killers, the better the stealth killers are. And burning this perk now has like a better use than what it does currently, because you could argue that the current version of this perk is not good at all. I do see on certain maps this just being really annoying in general, because some maps are already a little bit too dark, but the big issue I see here would be Blendettes. Blend Deads would literally just be invisible. They could just sprint across the entire map. You wouldn't be able to see them. <laughs> and you'd probably see a meta where people just six seconds swap to Blend Deads so you can't change the perk off and then you're stuck like trying to find people and they burn fog offerings and it's really dark. Oh man, I'm just feeling the PTSD as I talk about it. That being said though, man, I would love to have something like this in the game. Or at least, in general, just more perks that just affect the general map or landscape. Stuff that, you know, gives it that scary killer feel. I want to take this interjection to say, if you have your own ideas, as much as I'd like to hear them, don't post them in the comments. You could, and I would reply to them if you posted them in the comments, but doing so on the YouTube video itself actually boosts me in the algorithm. And if you personally don't want to boost me in the algorithm, commenting is a bad idea because that's what you'll end up doing. So if you would rather just post your ideas somewhere, I recommend you head over to Ask G, the asymmetrical slasher series general. You might not know how to get there, so I'll spoon feed you this one little time. So what you do is you want to go to 4chan, the main page, head over to video game generals, Head to Catalog so you can get a better format for the different games. Put in Ask G here and then the boards will pop up and you can come and you can comment your own ideas and it would help keep the board interesting and keep us from yelling at each other, which is always good. So yeah, by all means, please stop by. It's a very welcoming place. So this one is kind of just a logical change. The perk affected here is No Mither, the one where you're injured the entire game. And it says you start the trial healthy. The perk only activates when you take damage. So basically the first time you take damage, whether it would be from a hit that one-shots you, a hit that injures you, No Mither activates. And honestly, this just sounds like the way the perk should be in the first place. And the fact that it wasn't like this from the start makes no sense to me. I've heard a couple ideas for this perk as well, like you always appear healthy, but you still get one shot by everything in the game. The issue with something like that though would be it'd be kind of hard to code I guess. Or maybe if you start injured from the start it doesn't have that bar saying broken for the killer so the killer wouldn't know that you're broken, he'd have to remember. And sure most killers would be able to remember, but I don't know. This change though, this change sounds like a very simple change, a very solid change, and something that, like I said, should have been in there from the beginning, so I can, I can get behind it, I can dig it. So the final idea is going to be centered around Hex Haunted Grounds. Instead of the exposed SFX, there's a corny Scooby-Doo SFX, and the broken Hex Totem emits a hog that's a skull and crossbones. <laughs> <laughs> See, perks like this make me sad on the inside, because on one hand, I'm one of those people that care a lot about the atmosphere of Dead by Daylight. Like, I, I love when things feel really spooky or scary, or cosmetics are centered around, you know, actual clothes that you would wear if you were being hunted down. Like, I, I love that dark, gritty atmosphere that the game has. But at the same time, 
<laughs> this sounds so amazing. Imagine how much money the devs would make if they sold like little sound effect changes that change the way certain uh, killer power sound or certain perks sound when you use them. They would make so much money. But at the same time, we might lose what little bit of spookiness that the game still has to offer. I don't know, man. It's a fantastic change, but deep down in my heart, it just tears me apart. Regardless, though, that's probably it for this video. I, I do appreciate everyone sticking by till the end. Making videos recently has been so much fun. I've been getting a lot out. And, you know, getting there, 25, 25 subs. I, you know, I like that a little bit. I think it's pretty good. But yeah, uh, th thanks again, guys. Uh, have a good one.